Gary Ward heads a company that was begun in the 1920s in Rocky Mount. During that period, peddlers travel throughout eastern North Carolina buying furs, cowhides, rags, and used mechanical parts from farmers. To serve these peddlers, the late J.L. Rawls formed NC Hide and Fur Company. This became the basis for an organization that has evolved over the past 80 years into Rocky Mount Recycling and is now branded as RMR, Regional Materials Recovery. Gary Ward's father and uncle moved from Brunswick County to Rocky Mount in the 1940s and bought into NC Hide and Fur. When Gary's uncle passed away suddenly, Tom Ward purchased his brother's share of the company. During this period, the Ward family farmed in the warm weather months and was involved in the fur trading business during the winter ones. Because NC Hide and Fur employees needed work in the summer, the company also began buying scrap metal that was sorted and resold. But the real income for the company through the 1950s and into the 1970s came from its fur trade. The Ward family purchased raccoon, possum, mink, fox, otter, and beaver skins from local area hunters in eastern North Carolina and southeast Virginia. Buyers then came to NC Fur and Hide from around the world to purchase furs. At one point, the NC Hide and Fur inventoried more possum hides than any other company in the world. These were used in third world countries to line winter clothing. To keep up with its fur demand, the company relocated its operations from the downtown Rocky Mount area to a 10-acre plot on Halifax Road in 1974. The 1980s brought major changes to the company. Tom Ward retired, and his son Ted took over the day-to-day -day running of the company, while his son Gary became head of fur purchasing. But clothing fashions had changed, and the demand for fur declined. So when a new manufacturing facility opened in Sharpsburg and asked the Ward brothers if the company could offer a scrap service, metal recycling became the main focus of the business. The company invested in a shearer that cut 50 tons of steel a day, and it hired a full-time person to call on industrial accounts. After it rebranded itself as Rocky Mount Recycling, the company began soliciting scrap business in the local market using two trucks and a small labor force. Since the 1980s, the company has grown its operation significantly. It now has 25 trucks hauling scrap metal from the Piedmont and coastal areas of North Carolina as well as Central Virginia to its Halifax Road site. It serves a variety of customers including appliance, automotive, satellite and metal roofing manufacturers. In addition, 50% of the metal it recycles is provided by individuals and other companies bringing scrap metal directly to the Rocky Mount location. In recent years, the company expanded further by acquiring two feeder yards in Fayetteville and Elizabethtown to increase the company's scrap metal volume. As a result, auto shredding has become a very much higher percentage of the company's business. RMR has implemented a variety of procedures to ensure that it only buys metal from reputable sources. The company uses a variety of state-of-the-art technologies combined with old-fashioned hands-on techniques to sort and separate the non-ferrous and ferrous metals it sells for recycling. Today, the company buys so much scrap metal for recycling that it provides 10% of all steel metal used by the Nucor Steel Company each month. After Ted Ward retired in recent years and turned the presidency of the company over to his brother Gary, the company made a decision to acquire and install a giant automobile shredder in 2013. This multi-million dollar equipment was purchased from a source in New York State, as well as additional parts coming from the shredder manufacturer in South Korea. RMR has constructed the multi-story high shredder on the back end of its 35-acre site. It sits on a concrete pad that is 18 feet deep to help absorb the vibration as the vehicles are shredded into small pieces while it travels through the machinery. To maximize both the computerized shredder's production capabilities, RMR worked closely with the City of Rocky Mount Utilities Department on all of the complicated electrical components needed to power the machinery. From a vantage point high above the machinery, an operator oversees the processing of approximately 1.5 tons of metal from each car being shredded. It only takes one and a half minutes to process each vehicle. This equipment has significantly increased the total volume of scrap metal the company now offers for resale. Because Gary Ward often hires individuals other businesses might not consider, and because RMR does not lay off employees during slow times, the company has a dedicated staff of experienced and well-trained workers. Gary also gives back to the community with donations to local charities and churches and provides opportunities for anyone interested in raising funds for their organizations by collecting and selling scrap metal to RMR. 
in recognition of his achievements in continuing to grow his family's business into one of the largest metal recycling companies in North Carolina, NEAR is proud to recognize Gary Ward as one of its 2013 Entrepreneur of the Year finalists. 